Animals of this class possess mammary glands, which are inactive in males while functional in females. The female animals nourish their young ones by mammary glands. Their skin possesses hair. They are homeothermic animals. Sweat glands of the skin and the hypodermal fatty layer below the skin regulate their body temperature. Sebaceous glands secrete oily substances which keep the skin smooth. They have two pairs of pentadactyl limbs with horny claws or nails. Some of them have hooves in place of fingers and some possess horns. Their alimentary canal is well developed and they also have accessory digestive glands. Their jaws are provided with teeth which fit into their sockets. The heart is four-chambered. The aortic arch is single and bent towards the left side. The red blood corpuscles in the blood are biconcave and enucleated. They respire through the lungs. The muscular diaphragm is situated between the thorax and the abdomen, dividing the body cavity into two. The urinogenital and anal apertures are separate in these animals. The cerebrum and cerebellum of the brain are big and well developed. They possess 12 pairs of cranial nerves. The ear consists of external, middle and internal ears. The external ear on the outermost side possesses elastic pinna. The eyes have two movable eyelids. The males have a penis as a copulatory organ. The endoskeleton consists of bones as well as cartilage. The embryo develops in the body of the mother and the mother gives birth to young ones. Hence, they are called viviparous animals. The instinct of parental care is well developed. Example, rabbit, man, etc. Animals of class Mammalia possess mammary glands which are inactive in males while functional in females. They are homeothermic animals. They have two pairs of pentadactyl limbs with horny claws or nails. Some of them have hoofs in place of fingers and some possess horns. Their jaws are provided with teeth which fit into their sockets. The heart is four-chambered. The ear consists of external, middle and internal ears. The external ear on the outermost side possesses elastic pinna.